welcome back to our channel guys it is officially wedding week the wedding is like six days away i cannot believe it it still does not feel real i thought it would be fun to kind of bring you guys along on the week leading up to my wedding i have a lot of like appointments um i'm going to a justin bieber concert on friday so that's fun um, and just things I need to do, packing, honeymoon packing, all the good stuff. So I just thought it would be fun to bring you along and show you some of the stuff I get into each day leading up to the wedding. To kind of start things off, I wanted to show you guys some of the things I just got in from Shein. Um, the thought in buying this stuff is mainly to bring it on the honeymoon and just have some like new cute outfits to wear. We are going to St. Lucia on our honeymoon. I know that we didn't say that before, but I think when this video comes out, it'll already be over, which is so crazy that you guys are seeing this probably like a week or two after. As I was saying, <laughs> Cookie's here with me and she barks at every noise she hears in the apartment so far. But it's just so crazy that you guys are probably gonna see this video like a week or two after the wedding. But I wanted to go ahead and start off and quickly, very quickly give you guys a little Shein haul of all the things I got because I know I have other things I wanna show you in this video. And so I'm gonna try to make it really, really snappy. So the first thing I got, was this dress it ties up on the shoulders with these little ties and it's just a little gingham dress i'm not sure if i'm actually going to take this on the honeymoon or not because i'm pretty short and it's pretty long like it goes down to at least my shins so i'm not sure if i'll bring this but either way it's still a really cute dress that i'll be wearing to like church and things so first up i got that long dress and then this next dress i do think i'm gonna bring it's super cute it's just this green with white flower print dress and then it's all tie in the back and it's just very like lightweight i think it would be really cute to wear for like a dinner or something on the honeymoon the next clothing item i got is this skirt let me tie it up it's striped and it looks kind of like a skirt in the front but then you turn around and it's actually shorts and it is very comfortable it fits me perfect um usually in shein stuff like the clothes, I'll get whatever small, whatever size is the smallest, so like a small or an extra small, whichever one they offer. And then in the bathing suits, I typically just get a small in all of them. So these fit really good. And then I also got a couple tank tops. I got this like really pretty like blue turquoise color with the little cinches on the sides. And then I also got this hot pink one, just like a hot pink like ribbed crop top. I also got this set, which fits so nice, is so cute, and I feel like is a really good quality. I'll probably be wearing this maybe like on the flights and just as like a lounge outfit, but it's this really pretty blush pink color. It's wrinkly right now, but it has like the little brown buttons on it, and here's the top. And then it also comes with these matching shorts, which I just thought were so cute. I need to get the wrinkles out of it though. We are doing like this overlook hike i believe on our honeymoon so i got this athletic set that i think i'm going to take it's these like blue and white biker shorts and these fit so well they're really cute and then it came with a matching sports bra just like this and then a white like athletic tank top last are all of the bathing suits i got this one's really cute and looks like it's gonna be like high-waisted. I really, really like the color of it. It's very bright, so hopefully it'll make me look tan. The top is more of like a sports top and then it just like ties in the back. This next one I liked because of the print. It has like a cheetah and stuff on it and it's very like jungly looking. So I thought that was fun and it's more high-waisted. And then here is the top for that one. It just has like a clasp in the back and ties in the front. This next one has a similar top. 
it just tie it looks like it ties in the front but then it actually doesn't clasp it just goes across the back here are the bottoms they're just like this and then it actually came with one of these like cute little overlay skirts, which I thought was like so cute to like wear on the honeymoon, you know? This purple one I was more skeptical about, but it actually fits really well. And it's really cute. Like the bottoms are high on the hips and then the top fits really nice with, with that like gold loop through the front. It is so cute. And then it just goes across the back like that. And I don't have any purple bathing suits like this color. I don't know. I really like the color of it. And then last for me, I got this bathing suit. I just thought it was like a really fun flowery print. So here are the bottoms. And then the top is like an underwire top, but it's like thicker. So I don't know, like it fits really well and like actually has a lot of coverage on the top. And I got that one because these next couple of things are actually for Jason. He hasn't even seen them yet and hasn't tried them on. I actually got him matching swim trunks. I'm like praying that they fit him because he's probably gonna love this pattern. And we're gonna match. Maybe people don't like that, but I don't know. I think a little matching moment could be fun. So these are for him. And then I got him this two pack of this like dusty blue swim trunk color, this dusty pink swim trunk color. And then lastly, these like fun brown and white striped swim trunks. So that is all the stuff I got. I like tried to fly through that. But yeah, I guess we'll just see what else I get into. And I'll, I'll try to show you all the other stuff that I do this week leading up to the wedding. Hey guys, so I'm back at my parents' house because I have a couple more things that I want to get done today. My cousins and aunt came over last week and helped us put together a whole bunch of these little favors that we're gonna do at the wedding. It just says, sending you s'more love, um, Jason and Corinne, and then the date. I made these little tags on my Cricut like a year and a half ago. Like they were the very first project I ever did on my Cricut. And so I've just had them sitting around for a long time, but we finally got to use them. And we just did these little um, bags with graham cracker, like the really giant square marshmallows. Um, some Hershey's chocolate and then another graham cracker just to make a cute little s'more in here. Um, our venue has like a fire pit area that they're going to run all night for us and people will actually get to make their s'more if they choose to do so. So this is our just little favors that are going to sit at each person's spot. Um, when my aunt and my cousins were here the other night, we just barely had enough um, or like we didn't have enough of the marshmallows and chocolate like we just hardly ran out so um i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the ones that we didn't get to make the other night because we got the rest of the supplies that we needed um we got a new full bag of marshmallows and some chocolate so i think i have to make like 14 more which is nothing when we had to make like 102 total so that was a huge help that they were able to come and help put them together. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of them really quick. I was in the middle of making my s'mores and I just got a delivery. I figure it's something wedding related, so I'll show you guys what it is. There's just a couple of things that are supposed to come in this week. Um, so this is just one of those things that I'm hoping that it is. Okay, so in this box, it is our like thank you cards that we're gonna write, um, you know, after the wedding when we get like gifts and stuff from people. So they just say thank you on them in like a rose gold. And then down here it says Mr. and Mrs. Reese. So these are pretty cute. And then some envelopes for those. And then the ones that my dad is going to be super excited about are everybody's table numbers. Um, I also ordered these cards. They go along with our um, 
invites. They have like the same little design on them and all of it is from The Knot. That's where I ordered everything. And these little table number cards are just like the little foldables that people are gonna pick up and um, know what table they're gonna sit at and then like take it and it has everyone's names on it. So like this one says Chris Gunder for my dad and it says table zero on it because that's one of our table numbers. So my dad is going to be super excited about this because he's cutting tree branches to sit these down into and he's been waiting on these for weeks to know how big to cut the slots and the tree branches. So he'll be happy about this delivery today. <laughs> By the time this video comes out, the wedding will already be over. So I figured since I was just talking about the table numbers, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of what our table numbers are gonna be. They are so cute. And my mom actually like made these. Um, I, I saw the idea on Pinterest to do this, but then my mom like put all the pictures together and made these table numbers. So like the one I just showed you that said Chris table zero, He'll be sitting at table zero because they have to do with years. So like this one says when we were zero and it's a picture of me when I was a baby and then Jason when he was a baby and then we do every other year. So then we have when we were two and there's a picture of both of us when we were four and then we have six, eight, ten, twelve. 14 and then 16 and these are all the ones that we have apart from each other because then it turns into years because in 2018 that's the year we got together so then we jump from when we were 16 to us in 2018 and this is like the first picture we took together and then at Christmas in 2018 and then it skips to 2020 because this is the year we got engaged so here's a picture of us after we got engaged and then us dressed up as Beauty and the Beast at Halloween and then us in 2022 because that's the year we're getting married. So here's me in my wedding dress and then Jason in his like suit and bow tie. So I just thought that was so cute. One of the other packages I'm actually waiting on to come in here soon are little um, like gold clip stands that they'll be sitting in on the tables. Um, so I thought maybe that package could have been those but I'm definitely glad that those were the table number cards just for the sake of getting those like tree branches cut and everything. Other than these s'mores, the other crafty thing I have to do today is um, try to put the words on our welcome sign. Um, one of our family friends, Ken, actually found this gigantic like piece of, I believe it's pine wood. Um, like months and months ago and he's been having it like dried he cut it down to the exact size we needed it he rounded the edges for us made it look really pretty um, and then he handed it off to us like a week or two ago and I picked out the stain for it um, we stained it I think twice and then my dad cleared it and then he sanded it down so now it's ready for me to put the like lettering on it which I'm gonna use my Cricut for. It's gonna say the Reese's and then June 12, 2022, the date of our wedding on it. So I just need to figure out like the sizing and everything that I need to cut the letters out on my Cricut and yeah I'll go ahead and show you the sign empty and then I'll show it to you when it's all finished. Hopefully today, but if not today, tomorrow or later this week. Okay, so here's the sign. I don't know if the lighting is like the best in here, but it's kind of like this darker brown wood. I think I picked this side to be the front. Um, the back side is also like stained and everything, but yeah, there it is. All the edges are like really like rounded off and it's been stained, it's been cleared and now I just need to put the lettering on it.
Okay guys, it is Thursday, which means we are only three days away from the wedding. Today I have a pretty full schedule. Today is like my wedding appointment day. It's like 8.45 right now and I just kind of finished getting ready for the day. Um, at nine o'clock, I have a call with our wedding videographer just to talk to her about the day. And then I'm leaving and at 10 o'clock, I have my nails. Cause right now I still have my national nails on. I'm sad to see these go, these were so fun. Um, but I'm getting my nails and my toes done. I've never had my toes done before, so this is going to be an experience. And then after that, at 2 o'clock, I'm getting my hair trimmed. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. After that, <laughs> at 3.15-ish, I'm going to go try on my wedding dress and pray. Pray, pray, pray that I pick up my wedding dress today. And then the rest of the evening, I mean, I'm sure... I will do more wedding stuff. I want to kind of inventory all of our things, gather everything into one place, make sure I have everything. Um, I still need to finish wrapping the bridesmaids gifts, like their pajamas. So I'm hoping to be able to do that tonight and just little odds and ends. But I am home for the evening tonight and I'm finished working until after the honeymoon. So... Today's just a full wedding, kind of spa day. All right guys, it's like 3.30 and I just wanted to give a little update. I clearly just got my eyebrows done. They're a little bit red. I got my hair all freshly trimmed up at the salon. And I also got my nails done. Oh my goodness. I'm literally obsessed with them. They are so pretty and my toes are all finished. I'll spare you and not show you those, um, but they look good. Calissa had her nail appointment right after mine with the same lady. We both go to Mariana at Seven Sky and she brought me a Dunkin' drink. So thank you, Calissa. And now I am headed to my dress appointment and I'm crossing my fingers that I pick up this dress today. Guys, my dress has been secured. Dress and veil, rehearsal dress on that side. Oh my goodness. Bless my seamstress because my dress was like a whole ordeal trying to get it fitting exactly how I wanted it, but she did an amazing job. It fits so perfectly. Oh, and I'm just so happy that we have it and that it is all ready for Sunday, so. That is the last major check to my to-do list today. I am going to um, help my mom iron my bridesmaids PJs tonight and probably gather up all the wedding stuff, make sure everything's in the boxes and kind of like inventory everything tonight, make sure we have everything and that it's ready to go. That'll probably be the rest of my day and the rest of the evening. It's been a busy day, but it has felt very productive and I'm just so happy that everything is turning out so nice. My nails, my dress, everything is exactly how I want it. So I'm feeling good. <laughs> All right guys, a little update. We are two days away from the wedding. It is Friday. June 10th. And what have I done today? I went to Postmasters with my sisters and I got a couple clips from that. And now Jason and I are about to run some errands. We need to go get our COVID test for our honeymoon. So we need to get that so that we get our results in time before we need to leave. All of that business. So we're getting our COVID tests and then we are running some errands. Like we are going to go to the bank. I think that we Need to try to find a flower girl basket for some petals. Oh, I'm gonna get my ring clean so that it's extra shiny. I think that's pretty much it. Later, we're gonna finish packing for the weekend and honeymoon and all of that good stuff. So just wrapping up loose ends. Last night, I didn't really like film anything after I picked up my dresses, but 
my mom and I inventoried everything, pulled everything together for the wedding and like labeled everything. So all that's ready and I'm feeling good. We are headed to our wedding rehearsal. Woohoo! We're all dressed in white and ready to go. Look at this place. It is beautiful. All of these fixtures and wood, the sunroom, and all the brass. <laughs> like look how pretty and all these like built-ins and french doors like look at this this view with that kitchen so pretty all right guys <laughs> it is the end of the night end of rehearsal day what time is it and it is almost officially June 12th. It's almost officially wedding day. Wedding day. Yeah. So we are going to end the video here. We're all sleeping in bed together tonight. <laughs> One last time. Three little peas in a pod. No, not the last. Oh, the last time. But yeah. This was my wedding week. My leading up to my wedding week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We hope you have a great week. And we'll see you real soon. Oh my god. <laughs>